Yo guys, what's going on? So it's Lee and today I've got a new lens that I'm going to be trying out. So I'm going to unbox it for you guys. You probably know from the title what it is already, but this is it here. It's the young new 50mm f-stop 1.8 prime lens. So this is a pretty cheap lens, but we're going to be testing it out. We're going to be trying it out with a few video samples. So let's get started. <laughs> guys so this is the lens here it's the young new I'm probably not saying that right but it's the 50 mil prime lens it's the f1.8 so the reason I bought this is basically more for b-roll kind of stuff um, where I'm showing off products and stuff in my videos so I can get that nice uh, blurry background so I'm gonna just swap this lens out right now right now I'm using the included kit lens that came with my Canon 700D and that's the camera I'm going to be testing this bad boy on by the way so let's swap them out now and we'll see how it looks okay guys so this is now my Canon 700D using the uh, young new 50mm lens so I've actually had to get up off my chair and go as far back in my office as I can because it is a 50mm 50 50 lens um, it obviously is zoomed in a lot more, but I'm not really going to be using it for these style of videos unless I'm outside or something where I've got loads of room. But one thing I have noticed right away is the autofocus is actually quite loud in this. You can probably, it's probably going to pick up on the microphone I'm using right now. So if you guys hear that, uh, let me know in the comments. But I'll definitely check it out when I'm editing this in my uh, Adobe Premiere. So this is just a quick test of what it looks like and how it performs really. I'm going to do a few more tests, not really, because this is not what I'm going to be using it for. So I'm probably going to set like a pop vinyl or something up on my desk and actually do a little bit of filming off that. So let's see how that looks. Okay guys, so I threw a couple pop vinyls on my desk and I'm using the lens now. So the, I do have autofocus mode on, so I'm just switching between the autofocus on the live view on my camera. So all I'm doing is tapping between the Joker and the Brotherhood of Steel model. Um, autofocus is very very loud it is very noticeable so I doubt you could really record with this um, if you're going to be using an onboard camera mic but for stuff like this where I'm doing commentary after and I just take the audio out it's perfectly fine but it's definitely something to keep in mind is the autofocus is very loud and you'll actually see in the next clip where I've done a little bit of shooting outside um, I left the onboard camera mic audio on so you'll actually hear the autofocus on the lens actually adjusting and the autofocus isn't great. It's all right for stationary subjects, but as you heard probably in the last clip as well where I was talking, you can actually hear the lens kind of adjusting quite a bit while I'm moving around a little bit. I'm still kind of staying in the same region, but the autofocus seems to have a little bit of trouble sticking in one place. But I'll let you guys be the judge. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'll let you guys see the next clip now we can actually hear the autofocus working a little bit more. Sit. Hey, Remo. Hey, what's up? 
What's up, pup? What's up? Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of this lens from the samples I've shown. Uh, it's not too bad under first impressions from myself. The autofocus is a bit loud for my liking, but in reality, I'm not gonna be really be using this for a lot of uh, talking head videos. So the autofocus noise doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be doing it for a lot of videos really just where I'm panning over products where I can get that nice blurry background. So it suits what I need fine. If you're looking for a cheap prime lens, if you compare this to the Canon, there's loads of videos on YouTube comparing this to the Canon 50mm prime lens, which is about twice the price. This is actually a really good value lens if you want something you're just starting out and want to get that nice blurry background for your photos or videos. So guys, leave a like if you liked the video, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos from myself and I'll see you guys in the next video.